What's going on everyone and welcome to Movie Emporium's new review of The Artist's Wife, the newest film from director Tom Dolby. So before we begin this actual review, hey, if you like my channel, hit that subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell top to find out what's coming next. Hey, if you like any of these videos, cool, hit that like button as well as commenting below on any video that you watch including this one. So to start out with this review of The Artist's Wife, uh, I've never heard of this movie before. Uh, before I was given a review code for it, I didn't know anything about it. I was like, okay, it has Bruce Dern and Lena Olin, who I enjoy as actors and actresses. Uh, but yeah, I knew nothing about it. I looked up the synopsis and it has to do with Alzheimer's. It has to do with Bruce Dern being a very old individual who is going through problems with his mental ability. Um, but I like the idea. Um, it seemed interesting. So you know what? I get it a look and uh it basically is a story of a couple who are played by lena olin and bruce stern basically bruce stern plays richard and he's a very famous artist uh but he's starting to kind of go in his mind and his logic so it makes him very very angry it makes him like super uncomfortable to deal with he's still teaching classes but he's super strict and super forceful with how he teaches his art classes and on the other side we have lena olin's character who is a character that is very much in love with her husband, but she is starting to see the signs, starting to see the ideas. She at one point wanted to be a painter, and as we see through this movie, she's a very good painter, but she has always supported her more successful husband. And therefore, when she learns about him having Alzheimer's, she has uh, basically a rough time going with it. And to kind of make things right in this movie, to kind of make things right between, you know, Richard, the Bruce Dern character, and his daughter, who's played by Juliet Rylance, she goes to New York and she tries to eke herself into her, uh, Juliet Rylance's Angela's life. And Angela's one of those characters that's been so kind of put off by what how her father treated her growing up that she has nothing, she wants nothing to do with it. She's happy. She has a live-in housekeeper. She has, you know, a kid that she's, you know, taking care of and she feels better for it. And uh, as this movie plays along, we start to see kind of a developing relationship and we start to see the Alzheimer's really take an effect. And we start to see Lena Olin's character truly start to develop her artistic ability. And we get our movie, The Artist's Wife, which is a 90 minute movie. So with going into a movie like this, The Artist's Wife, with dealing with the subject matter is dealing with having no expectations of what I was even going to watch. I want to say I thought this was movie was pretty good but i struggle with the bruce dern character bruce dern character a lot the richard the guy having alzheimer's because i know alzheimer's has a pretty big effect on the mentality and the logic and reasoning by behind the individual sometimes it can bring forceful anger and forceful hate out of them but i feel like that the richard character was like this whole his whole entire life so it's magnified so it makes him kind of unlikable in a lot of ways how he treats his students how he treats his wife how he treats his daughter and her son it just doesn't feel particularly like like a redeeming character in the end. And maybe it's just a simple fact that I just can't get behind that character that was probably just a very abusive individual. And the way he treats the Lena Olin character, the way she has to kind of go through life and go through the situations at hand and having to deal with the situation with his daughter and stuff like that, who doesn't like her very much to begin with. It just, it, I don't know. There's something kind of off about his character. But on the other end of the spectrum, the Lena Olin character is quite good in this movie. She is, she's portraying as Lena Olin always does, a character that truly loves her husband, goes to the ends of the earth to you know, do everything in her power to make the end of his life, which, you know, is coming probably sooner than, you know, sooner than she thinks it is with as much passion and as much love as she can give and her daughter, his daughter can eventually give her or give her and him and stuff like that. So I think Lena Olin's character is pretty fantastic in the movie. I just think going up against Bruce Dern character is just like, it's almost like a seesaw of trying to balance just the battered widowness or the battered woman and stuff like that. So it's really kind of hard to watch and the Alzheimer is always a really tough subject to deal with. But you know, when you have the Juliet Rylance character who's just trying to take care of her kid, really doesn't want to have to deal with the situation to see her character play throughout this movie it makes it for a pretty interesting and decent movie i just can't get behind the bruce Dern character that's just my biggest gripe of this movie so it does affect it a lot but with that said, the movie's still entertaining. It's still 90 minutes long, so it goes pretty quickly. It does give you a sense of, you know, characters that are struggling through the current day life. And, you know, we get to see a little bit of the art world, which is 
can be really fascinating, you know, to see the different aspects and the different ways people paint and stuff like that. So overall, I think the movie's still kind of a recommend, but just going knowing Bruce Dern is, is a little much in the movie, but that's probably because of the subject matter. So maybe I was just a little uncomfortable by it. I don't know. So, so that's it. That's my take on The Artist's Wife. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you do decide to see this, let you know it is an early review, so it hasn't come out yet. But if you do decide, let me know in the comments below what you think of the movie, what you think of Bruce Dern, all that good stuff. But otherwise, hey, if you like my channel, hit that subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell to top to find what's coming next. If you like these videos, cool. Hit the like button. If you dislike it, it is what it is. But otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.